I am Ken the Ilse from Roundland Roof, and today I was going to make a video, well I will be making a video later, about my 28 to 300 millimeter lens. Okay? Great lens, by the way. Not as good as you can, but that's for the other video. <clears throat> what I do want to talk about, though, is when I took the lens off of the camera, um, which I haven't done literally for years, because that's the only lens I have, that's the only lens I use. I put the, the protective cap on, on the lens and on the camera, and I just realized, overall, how small this really is. I mean, this is really not that big. I mean, it's a, I mean, obviously there's pocket cameras that are a lot smaller, but overall, this is very small to carry around, and it doesn't weigh much. I mean, you hardly notice it. I mean, you do notice you, get, you notice you have a strap, but I'm sure for a few minutes you wouldn't even think about it. And this has got a battery grip, and it's it's really not that big. And I was just, I mean, I was just, you know, it's one of those things where it's just like you, know, you're like, ooh, it's really not that big. And you're like, ooh. So I was just, you know, it's. Um, I mean, you t take into consideration everything. Now, granted, this is no 1DX or 1DC or anything, or 5D Mark III. So, it's nowhere in comparison to what it can do, those uh, cameras can do. It's not even close. But, considering what it can do, it's pretty freaking small. Um, and, I just, you know, you look at cameras in the past. If you go on the internet and you look at the cameras and what they used to be and what they are, and this is somewhere, obviously, in between, this is still pretty small. I mean, considering it's got two batteries, a battery grip, uh, you know, all the ports, all the things you can do. Granted, again, it's not top of the line by any means, but it's still pretty freaking small. And overall, it takes good, pretty good pictures. So, I don't know, I thought I'd make a little video, as you can built it in the flash, about how small, you know, people gripe a lot. You know, people like the iPhone and cameras like that size. And they don't like to carry on things like this professionally. It's too heavy. <laughs> but you got to think about, really, I mean, if you go back and do your research, the history of photography, and you look at not only what the people had to carry, photographers had to, had to carry, both in size and quantities, and, that's, and before digital, of course, you had to carry around chemicals. Uh, a lot of these old timers, you know, if you're out in the woods or out and doing a remote location or what, wherever it may be, you had to take your chemicals and your, your uh, you know, developing and your fixer and your stop bath and your uh, paper and your special lights. And, I mean, it was just a... So a lot of people don't realize when, when you gripe about... How heavy this is, and this isn't really that heavy, even with the lens, it's not too bad. Just think for a second, or for a little bit, about how small and compact this is, in addition to what all it can do being that size. So, I mean, because trust me, it could be, it, it, let's face it, in the past, it has been a lot, lot worse. So, you know what I'm saying? This is not heavy. This is not heavy compared to a lot of things out there that have paved the way for this technology and this technology and things like the 5D Mark III and the 1DX and the 1DC and all those great cameras that I wish I could afford. <laughs> but uh, just be appreciative of how small, how lightweight, and how feature rich even something like this really is. Of course, that's not going to keep me from wanting something better and newer. And, but nonetheless, this is a piece of technology that's worth its weight. So with that in mind, I am Ken Eagles for Telephone Railing Roof. Saying thanks for watching. Have a good day. And may God bless you.